Then after you plan, unless you are a genius, you are not going to plan effectively because the plan is predicated on lift. What's going to be my lift? Well, if I know my lift as a plan, I need to validate it. How do you validate it? You got to get data. So whether it's through a interaction with Crisp and us, where you get real-time daily data into the platform and analyze your plan, or spins uploads, or any way that you get that data, you got to get that right. And, and then, then Yuval, just to stop you for a sec, for those who don't understand Lyft, can you give a quick definition of what Lyft is? Yeah, so we're talking about base versus incremental, right? You have a certain base volume that you're selling without promoting. So let's say you sell 10 units every single week of your product. When you promote, you expect that you're going to sell more than 10 units or else don't spend your money, right? There's no point of spending money if you're not going to do better than you would normally do if you didn't promote. So if you promote, your lift is the difference, the delta between your base and your next incremental value. So that might be 12 units for the next week during promotion. That's going to be your lift. And then ideally, you would like to see a sustained lift after that. So maybe if you went from 10 to 12, then after the promo, maybe a couple of weeks later, you want to see 11 as your new base because you have new customers who are now used to trying your brand, right? Yeah, I mean, I think we can have a whole conversation and podcast on that, but it's base, it's base velocity and volume, incremental volume over time. If you're flat or you're going down in volume, your only path is to discontinuation because that's not happening. But if you see incremental upticks in your base velocity, then your base volume, then you know that what you're doing is working. That's the goal. Perfect.